All right, so we just got the patch notes for Battlefield 2042's update 3.3, uh, which is pretty much the scoreboard update because you'll see there's not a whole lot in here. Um, it's actually kind of disappointing seeing that it's been about, what, two months or a month and a half since we got the last update or something like that. I, it's so few and far between that I can't even remember the dates anymore, but we're going to jump into the, the patch notes here. So obviously the scoreboard is the biggest piece we're getting here in this update 3.3. Um, so the there's a little screenshot of what it will look like um, in game so you can see it on screen right now you have the overall score which I think is the sum of kills times two uh, assists times one revives times two and flag caps times three if I'm reading the scoreboard right honestly it's kind of hard to read um, but yeah this is the scoreboard that we're gonna get. Uh, so they say match overview has been improved and placed on the top left of the screen. This still retains information about the match, objective progression, and ticket counters, as well as personal stats such as kills, assists, deaths, alongside your current in-game ping. So the scoreboard now features a team versus split look for certain team-based modes such as conquest, breakthrough, rush, and team deathmatch, alongside the inclusion of the death stats to the scoreboard. All these changes were two of your most requested missing pieces. This is the first version of the scoreboard and further improvements will be made to this in the subsequent updates based upon your continued feedback, such as the scoreboard being available during the end of round screens. There's also going to be the inclusion of the steadfast exclusive legendary bundle. So all Battlefield 2042 Gold Edition, Ultimate Edition, Year 1 Pass, Year 1 Pass and Ultimate Pack upgrade owners and EA Play Pro subscribers can now enjoy the steadfast legendary bundle. Uh, as a thank you for the loyalty from the entire Battlefield team. So these are the skins, uh, and it's their way of apologizing for delaying Season 1, which which is okay, I guess, but honestly, the whole game should have been delayed, but that is an entirely different rabbit hole to go down. So moving on to the general fixes. So in last week's video, they I talked about the small range of fixes, and trust me, it is quite small. So fix the game crash that could occur on Origin or Xbox One when signing in out while using an Xbox One controller. Setting chat key bindings no longer requires a restart to take effect. Adjusted aim assist on console to ensure that the system is in effect when analog sticks are at 100% of their range. Previously, it was only active at ranges below 100%. Fix the bug where takedowns would not result in a kill on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, and established new location for our EU data center as of Frankfurt. And as for modes, Conquest and Breakthrough fixed the bug where securing objective XP event was triggered even after a capture point was already fully captured, and there's two hazard zone fixes, but I doubt anybody even cares about those. Um, but what I do care about is the fact that we still have mouse input issues, uh, ADS bug issues when using a weapon that has a grenade launcher equipped or an under barrel, uh, you know, not being able to jump in certain instances, not being able to use the plus system, not being able to revive people that are too close or clipped through objects or walls. So these are all things that are detrimental to the overall experience and a lot of this has yet to be addressed in any patch notes and also the balance of the overall game is still pretty bad and this is also yet to be uh, talked about in any way shape or form other than map overhauls or map not redesigns but map passes so adding cover and changing objective spots so a pretty underwhelming update once again. Um, I doubt there's a whole lot of people working on fixing Battlefield 2042 on this point. I would imagine most of the employees are relegated to working on Season 1 and subsequent seasons because those also at some point need to come out, albeit I wouldn't hold my breath if I'm being completely honest. And also, I do believe DICE is working on another unannounced title because some of the devs say that they're not actually working on Battlefield. Are they working on side projects? Are they working on an entirely other game? That we can't be sure of, but they definitely are working on other things. Now, I, I hope that they get some patches out the door quickly to address some of these bugs that I mentioned. I know there are far more bugs than that, and you guys can leave some that are annoying you in the comment section down below, but yeah. Another pretty underwhelming update, pretty much the scoreboard is the highlight of this update. The rest is just meh. It's not that interesting, and it's not something that is addressing uh, very important issues with Battlefield 2042, in my opinion. But anyways, uh, the link is in the description down below if you want to go and read the entirety of the patch notes for yourselves. But yeah, that'll be it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.